I'm going to go over some of the tools that can be helpful when you're taking an Ed Center class. The first tool we're going to look at is your phone. And this can be useful in a couple of different ways. The most obvious is to call or text your teacher if you need help or you have any question. The other way you can use your phone is to actually start on your classes. Some people start on their classes on their phone. So they go onto the Ed Center courses on their phone while they're waiting to get a computer. Now, using it on your phone, it's best if you use the Moodle app, but there's another video on how to install that and use that on your phone. The next tool is a computer. So the best thing to use to do your classes is a computer because it has a nice big screen that you can read your assignments on. Now, it doesn't have to be the biggest or fanciest or newest computer as long as it works, and that will be fine for your Ed Center courses. If you have a camera and a microphone, that can be kind of handy for web conferences, but even that's not necessary. You can have a video web conference with your teacher where you see them and you hear them, and you're just using the messaging box for your communication. The next tool is the internet because all of the courses are online. You do need access to the internet. So if you have internet at your house, that's great. It doesn't have to be the fastest lightning fast internet as long as you have internet connection that does work. If you don't have it at your house, there's still ways around that. Usually libraries will have computers that are connected to the internet. Um, if you don't have a library in your community, you could go into the local school and ask if you could use their internet or a town office or a band office also probably has internet. So you could ask if you could use theirs. The next tool is email. And this is another great communication tool to communicate with your teacher. Sometimes your teacher might ask you to email them assignments or parts of assignments or they might send you emails about notices of things that are coming up. It's just a great communication tool. Free downloads. The key word here is free. So in other words, you don't have to buy a bunch of stuff to do an Ed Center class. But every now and then you might want a piece of software on your computer that you don't have. Like maybe you don't have Word on your computer. If you talk to your teacher, they'll be able to offer you suggestions for free software that you can use on your computer. Or an even better option is nowadays, a lot of the tools that we use like Word are available as online tools. So you don't need them on your computer. You can just go to the web and use them there. And again, if you're not sure about that, your teacher can help you out with that. And the last thing is a printer. Now, a printer isn't a must have, but it can come in handy with some of the classes because there are some classes where it's easiest if you print off assignments and then you do them and then you scan them and hand them back in. If you don't have a printer, though, there's ways to work around that. Like, again, libraries sometimes have a, uh, have a printer that people can just walk in and use. If you have a if you don't have a library in your community, you could go to the school, ask if they'll print something off for you or a band or town office. So there's ways around not having a printer. So those are some of the tools that will help you in taking an Ed Center course.